I'm very upset. We're all upset. My husband's upset. The kids are upset. Why should we bring down the Canada flags? I mean, I'm proud of. I'm proud to be a Canadian. It may be patriotic, but the city says it's also breaking the law. The term "good fences make good neighbors" takes on a new twist. It's a fence flag flap. With Canada Day just around the corner, the Wisemans thought their neighbor would like their Canadian flags. We've had nothing but complaints about the, with the neighbor that he doesn't want the Canada flags up. He, they're, they're too high. The Wisemans wanted to keep the flags up all summer, and even though the fence belongs to them, the city has issued this notice of violation saying they have to take the flags down. Because Mary Wiseman and her family have a pool, they wanted extra high fences for safety reasons. This one on the south side of the property does exceed the bylaw, but because nobody has complained about it, the city doesn't have a problem with it. Fences are supposed to be a maximum of six feet, six inches tall. And now the city has declared the flags on the east side as part of the fence. The height with the flags is nearly 10 feet tall. They're calling it a fence. Um, but it's not, it's flags, and they're only temporary. They come down in September. The city says this does not meet the criteria for temporary structures and that they have to follow the letter of the law when it comes to complaints from the public. It's very clear it's an infraction of the bylaw. Mary Wiseman says their neighbor is an elderly man that they've had problems with ever since they moved in. He wasn't home when we knocked, but Wiseman says she's not backing down. I'm not taking down my flags. I will tie myself up against the fence. But I'm not taking down my flags. I'm not. If that's the case, then the city will go in and take it down and charge her against her taxes. The city says Mary Wiseman has until June 13th to remove the flags or she could be charged with an offence and be liable to a fine or penalty. Mary says she's going to fight this in court. In North York, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.